<laughs> Moving through today, Karen, we have got some really cold air in place. We've got temperatures that have dropped back below freezing across most of North Texas. So that is a colder setup than even what we saw yesterday. There could be some slick spots still as to our south and southwest. There's still a little snow on the ground. So just keep that in mind if you are traveling from the south or headed down south, you may run into some of that slick, uh, those slick spots and some icy conditions. But right now, 31 from DFW Airport feels like 31 too. Thankfully, not much wind. That is going to be more of a southerly wind today, and it is at three miles per hour currently. Now, there is some fog in addition to our cold temperatures. So anytime you see that, it does raise the alarm bells just a bit because we could see some freezing fog. And I certainly think that's going to be an issue down to the south around Palestine, Corsica, Canna over to around Hillsborough. You can see just a few miles of visibility and then it actually continues over to Mineral Wells too. So do take it very slowly if you have to drive in that area. But then as we head north, we're really not seeing the fog so much. It looks like maybe one spot that would be around Mesquite down to two and a half miles, but overall doing much better here in the Metroplex. Now, as for temperatures, everyone getting in on the cold, 26 from McKinney. We've got 22 from Denton, Burleson at 32 and Mesquite at 27. Everywhere you are, very, very cold. You'll want to have that heavy winter coat to start. But then as the day wears on, it does turn more comfortable today. We're going to see that south wind stick around 5 to 10 miles per hour and then your high temperature getting into the low 50s. So that does push us a little bit closer to average for this time in the year. Overnight tonight, still going to be cold as we keep the mostly clear sky. We'll drop back into the upper 20s to the low 30s, but I think we'll be just a bit up from where we are this morning, not quite as cold. And really, that's kind of the trend this week. Numbers just slightly higher each and every day. We go on tomorrow at 58, 62 on Thursday. Thursday, but there is a dry front that's going to arrive, which is why Friday looks a little bit cooler for us. Beyond Friday, weekend looks pretty good. We've got some dry weather in play. And as we look at Sunday, that would be our next cold front, which right now models are not in full agreement on the timing here, but just a low shot for some rain on Friday or on Sunday, I should say, with some isolated showers. Rain chances go up after the front on Monday. Some light rain still does look possible, but this is not going to be a strong front. As you can see, our temperatures staying close to average in the mid 50s.